up to now, uh, we only studied the derivative of function has this form y equals fx. Uh, this form of function we called explicit explicit function. But sometimes um, the relation between x and y are determined by an equation uh, like f x y equals zero or some other equation and this relation we called maybe maybe from this uh, equation we have the relation between y and x and uh, maybe we can find a function like y equals g, gx so uh, this equation determine a relation between y and x. So this equation we call it uh, implicit function. Because the function is de defined by an equation. It's not obvious uh, the uh, relationship of y and x. So those, those equations can determine our implicit function. For implicit function, sometimes we can find the explicit expression for y uh, in terms uh, with respect to x, but sometimes are not. Uh, let's take some examples. The first one, uh, if uh, x, maybe we can check uh, like uh, y, x of y uh, plus y plus 1 equals x. We can solve this equation mm, with respect to x. We can solve y with respect to x. That is x plus 1 times y equals x minus 1. So we can solve y is x minus 1 over x plus 1. This is ex explicit function. But sometimes we cannot solve uh, y ex explicitly. Like uh, if the x, y has relationship determined by the uh, function like uh, by the equation like e of x y square plus uh, two sine x y plus y square equals x cube y. For this for this equation, we cannot solve y explicitly because we cannot uh, separate y from this equation. So for this equation, we cannot uh, have the explicit um, expression for y uh, with respect to x. This cannot solve. And sometimes uh, y, uh, we can solve for y, but maybe and um, there's uh, many functions there's many relationship for for this equation we can have we have y equals positive or negative square root of 1 minus x squared there's two functions here there's two functions here so uh, for this one uh, is uh, it's uh, not wise to use the explicit expression because there's two function uh, should uh, deal with should be deal with so uh, for those functions uh, we have our method to uh, take the derivative for implicit function so uh, this called the 
in place of the differentiation. We can find the derivative uh, directly from the equation. Uh, this method called implicit differentiation. Uh, what is implicit differentiation? We just uh, differential. Uh, differentiate both sides of the equation. And uh, regard y as a function um, of x that we regard y uh, as intermediate uh, intermediate um, variable. regard y as intermediate variable um, in chain rule. Just use chain rule. Uh, regard y as intermediate variable. And then solve uh, dy over dx uh, from this from the equation. Now let's uh, take a, uh, an example to show how to how to do the implicit differential uh, implicit dif differentiation. Let's uh, see uh, if x squared plus y squared equals one and find dy over dx because the y is a function of x or y is an intermediate variable so we take take derivative of the equation both sides equation then we got two uh, in with respect to x differentiate uh, with respect to x with respect to x then x squared has the derivative of 2x. Y, we take the d dx y squared because y is the intermediate intermediate variable. So it takes the uh, derivative of 2x. So that is y times y, the derivative of y over x. So it is not just only 2y because it takes the derivative with respect to x, not for y. So there, there's uh, another one. There's y, uh, the derivative of y to x, because we use the chain rule here. So that is 2y times dy over dx equals 0. Then we solve for dy over dx, that is negative x over y. Just leave y as that. We don't need to write down the ex uh, explicit expression for y, because 
y has two uh, expressions of x. So we just leave y as that. Example 2, I just say that as e x of y square plus sine x of y uh, you see 2 plus y square equals uh, x cube y. The solution is take the uh, take the or differentiate differentiate both sides. With respect to x, then there we can write as uh, e of u, e of u. So that a e of u, and and uh, this part takes the derivative for x. That is y square. Use product rule for this part for the uh, exponential. So that is y square plus x times two y and dy over dx. Uh, the sine u. So as two sine x of y plus y square and then take the derivative in the bracket that is y plus x dy dx plus 2y dy dx equals 3x square y plus x cube x cube times dy over dx then collect collect the like terms. That is, uh, there's dy dx, there's dy dx, dy dx, there's dy dx. So that is two uh, x of y e x of y square uh, plus two. Um, x sine x y plus y square then plus um, then plus 4 4 y sine x y plus y square then times dy over dx Oh, there is another part. This the right hand side has x cubed so minus x cubed dy over dx equals 3x square y minus uh, y square dx y square and uh, minus uh, 2y sine x y plus y square then solve for dy dx that is dy over dx equals 3x uh, square y minus y square e x e of x y square minus 2y sine x y plus y square and then over 2xy e x of y square plus 2x sine x y plus y square plus 4y sine x y plus y square minus x cube. Just leave y as that. That's the diff uh, implicit differentiation. Let's see x 
example another example example three um, we have the Plus y cube equal 3xy and find dy over dx. And the first one, find dy dx. The second, uh, find the equation. Two, uh, there's two problems. So the solution, the first, we should find the derivative. So to use the uh, implicit differentiation, we have uh, using implicit differentiation. x square plus 3y square times dy over dx equal 3y use the product rule here yes, use the product rule 3x is one term and y is another term plus 3x times dy over dx Um, collect the lecture 3y squared minus 3x times dy over dx is 3y minus 3x squared. So we solve for dy over dx that is y minus x squared over uh, y minus x square over y square minus x. That's the first derivative. And then we find the uh, equation of tangent line. Then the, the slope is the derivative at that point. So dy over dx over uh, at such point at that point that is 3 over 2 minus uh, line over 4 uh, 9 over 4 minus 3 over 2 that is negative 1 so the equation We use the slope point form. I use slope point form. That is y minus y naught equals m x minus x naught. So we have the slope is negative one. That is y minus 3 over 2 equals negative 1. x minus 3 over 2. We can change this form to the uh, slope x uh, explicit uh, intercept form. That is y equals negative x. That is negative x. That's the uh, Negative x plus plus uh, plus three, or 
use the general form this slope point or use this is slope and the intercept and we can change x plus y equals 3 this is general form and any uh, anyone is okay that's the implicit differentiation we just uh, differentiate both sides in uh, with respect to x and regard y as a function of x and then use chain rule use chain rule here 